Well, hello there again. Here we are on Monday, December 13th, 2021. At 11 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we had some clear skies today, so I was hoping that we might be able to catch uh, Orion and hopefully some meteor showers tonight. But so far, all I've done is taken a few pictures. Those clear skies went to... Uh, muck trails out there of course but anyway I'm not on the tracking mount I just have the uh, Canon R8 camera out here with the Tamron 70 no the Tamron um, 35 to 150 f 2.8 lens on here I want to try this out before bringing another rig outside because it is bitter cold out here <laughs> it's below freezing so I think it's maybe 28 degrees Fahrenheit Minus whatever Celsius that is. <laughs> but anyway, we can see um, the constellation of Orion there. That is such an amazing constellation to see. I love it. And down in the far bottom left corner is Sirius. can barely get it in the same shot here. But yeah, I've been out here for a while and I haven't seen any shooting stars yet. What a shame, look at that sky. It was a very pretty blue today, during the day. Oh well. Well, I thought I'd let this run for a bit and hopefully the camera will catch something. And just so we know what settings we're at, um, we're at 1 8th shutter speed, which I really shouldn't have it at that, but I do. <laughs> F2.8 and the is at 16,000. I have a feeling the video will come out darker than what I'm seeing on the screen. Let me move it up to 20. No, oh, that's um, 25,600. Oh, yeah, look at that. You know, I'm not going to go get the other camera. Not when they've buggered up the sky so much that it just spread and is covering everything. There, I was trying to get it to 20,000. There we go. That might be too grainy, but we'll see when we go in. Now we're facing southeast, and the meteor showers are going to, should be originating off to our left here from Gemini. And I thought or hoped we'd get a few shooting towards Orion. But again, so far nothing, except the spreading of muck trails. <laughs> Yoy. Well, you know, I think I'm going to give up after seeing all these uh, trails just spreading across the screen. But before I do, let me zoom into Orion's belt and the nebula. So there we go. We get the three bright stars, the belt, and down below, Orion's nebula. And we're at the full 150 millimeters at this uh lens has and looking up by eye still there is nothing to be seen meteor wise I want to see a falling star well you know what that's what I didn't do let's try this again get her in focus if I can find the ring there we go Okay, so there we are at 150 millimeters, and we're using the times 5 focusing zoom that's on the uh, Canon R8 camera. It doesn't have a 10x. It goes straight from 5x to 30x, which is, well, if you've been around for a while, you know what I have to say about that 30x. It's worthless. <laughs> yeah, like I said, worthless. <laughs> Whoa! And right as I was about to shut it off, a meteor went by. Doggone it. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping by facing Orion, some of these uh, meteors would shoot towards the constellation, which would make a great show. I missed part of that streak because I had it zoomed in at the moment. Drat. Well, well, well. So at the peak, there should be about a 
approximately 120 meteors per hour zipping along, but so far I've only seen one. <laughs> All right, I was going to try for a bit longer, but I'm hearing some, I think they're animal noises, so <laughs> I want to get out of this corner and back in the house. So I hope wherever you're at, they haven't messed with your skies or just a plain old Mother Nature has been kind to you <laughs> and gave you some clear skies. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. See y'all take care. It's 11.17 p.m. up here. Bye from Chile, Ohio. My frozen finger can't even shut off the record button. <laughs>